Hello everybody, this is Goofs and Fox coming at you with a rated match here in the Zaku 2 Sniper Type HH, or as I'll be calling it throughout this video, the Helena's Zaku. This is going to be a uh, 350 cost match here, and we are on Arctic Base. And yeah, this is a match I've had for some time now. Uh, really didn't have much of an opportunity before to get this one out. But um, now I did want to cover it because the Helena Zaku did recently get buffed during the May 2024 unit adjustments. This match here, this is going to be the pre-buffed version. And I did want to do this video because I did have some interesting um, theories as to why the suit got buffed. Because the buff list is actually pretty like minuscule. It's really just a lot of... Um, reload-like things for the weapons. Really just shortened reload times. Aside from, apparently it did now get Frontline Support System Level 1. But yeah, aside from that, really just reloads for both versions of the Zaku 2 Sniper Rifle here. Uh, both the Standard Fire and the Rapid Fire. And my theory here, in short, is that um, we are going to be getting some limited missions soon. And one of those limited missions, I believe it's the first one actually, is going to have a level 2 version of the Zaku Desert Type Dual Antenna. And if you know anything about the Dual Antenna um, Desert Zaku, it is a very powerful support at 300. And at level 2, that is going to give it a 350 um, cost variation there. And that's kind of like where my main theory here is. I believe since this suit and the Dual Antenna... Uh, they do have some similarities, so I do wonder if maybe they tried to buff this suit a little bit. Uh, just to try and, you know, have it prepared for when the level 2 uh, dual antenna comes out. Um, it could probably just be me looking a bit too much into it, though, because looking at the stats for this suit, uh, both the level 1 and the level 2, it definitely was falling behind some of the other mobile suit picks when it comes to supports. So it could always just be the case there, but I do think part of it might also um, relate to the dual antenna, because again, that is a pretty strong support, especially for its cost. So it wouldn't surprise me if again it was in preparation for that suit. Uh, but I will go over just some of the weapons you do have here. As I mentioned, you have two versions of the sniper rifle. Um, they aren't alternate primaries, they are both in this suit's kit. You have the standard um, sniper rifle, which I just used there as your primary, and that pretty much operates um, similarly to the Jim Sniper 2's rifle. And then you have an alt fire version that fires in burst, uh, pretty similar to the long range Zaku machine gun. Now you do have blow as your main melee, so that means you do have the standard Zaku um, punches and the shoulder tackle as your downswing. Um, you also have a chaff grenade, which I'm about to use here. Um, that's a special version of the Zaku um, cracker grenade, where this one does um, jam radar, I believe. Um, you have a Sturm Faust, which is pretty much, you know, your standard Sturm Faust. You can use it to get an instant stun. Pretty much a pocket rocket. And then you have a camera gun, which allows you to spot targets for your teammates. And then those mark targets will also take extra damage as well. So yeah, you do have some pretty nifty benefits to using the suit here. It's kind of like a mix between the um, dual antennas kit with the um, Zaku recon type. It's probably the best way I can describe it. And yeah, I think overall the kit is nice. Um, you can fire the weapons fairly quickly, especially if you're alternating between both rifle modes. Because um, with the rapid fire burst option, if you do land three hits, pretty similar to the long range um, Zaku machine gun, you will get an accumulation stun that way, which is a pretty nice way to, you know, like you saw here with this Agu guy, is a way to stop targets from trying to boost up at you, and, you know, try to get some damage off because uh, being a support, you are going to be um, susceptible to raids. Uh, there's an enemy pilot. I'm going to hit them with my rifle there. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, I have been liking this suit um, from playing it. I am going to be very interested to see what happens when the uh, dual antenna Zaku comes out. Because I do believe that suit is definitely going to overshadow this one at this cost. 
I rarely see the 300 version of the Helena Zaku as it is, which I mean could always be more of a case of again it being a Code Fairy exclusive. A lot less people might have it compared to some of the um, other suits that we have. And then the level 2 again probably just being a bit more prominent because that one is a supply drop award. I've also gotten this Zaku multiple times from the recon drops at the end of matches, especially recently. I've been getting this suit um, a whole lot more, so it does feel like it, this version is a pretty common uh, mobile suit to get, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I do think, like, from what I've experienced with the Code Fairy suits so far, uh, most of them have been fairly nice suits to play which might just be left over from them being reward suits from Code Fairy. I would probably think, you know, like, if you have to, like, pay for a whole separate game to um, earn some of these suits, then yeah, I would hope they would be, uh, you know, a bit better to kind of, like, you know, incentivize people to get them and really offer a proper reward for people's hard work. And hey, was able to get a lucky tackle on the Agu guy there. Which, yeah, is very hard to do sometimes, given the Agu guy's um, range with its whips. So, yeah, was luckily able to get close enough to get the tackle in. Uh, though, unfortunately, I am going to get finished off by this Ifrit knock here. But, um, yeah, kind of like a similar case, going back to what I was saying with the Code Fairy suits. I feel like that's one of the reasons why the Zanny, when it was only at 200, was regarded as a very powerful support. Because it did also have the cannon that the Gundam ground type could use. But overall, you just get a lot of really decent weapons with that suit. Which again, might just come from the fact that you did have to pay for um, that suit to get it. So understandably, again, it probably is going to be a uh, good suit. Just so people don't feel like that they got scammed in any way. So, um, yeah, we're nearing the last minute of the match here. And um, the enemy team is in the lead at the moment, so we do need to hurry up and get some kills if we do want to get ahead. Uh, the enemy team was able to get our base, so that did give them some points ahead of us. Uh, but it looks like here there's the Fleet Knocked. I really rushed my shot there and missed it, but luckily my teammates are coming in. So it looks like I'm going to be able to finish off the Knocked with the um, Alt Fire there. And it looks like there was somebody back here. But my radar is getting jammed by somebody, not sure who. Um, there is a Zaku Marine type, gonna finish him off with the Sturmfrost. There is the Agu guy, which I'm gonna try to help in dealing with. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can just chuck a grenade and maybe hit him with the camera as well. Uh, they are low on health, but I do need to be careful myself. And hey, there is a regular Ifrit. Going to get the um, tackle counter on them and finish him off again with the Sturmfrost there. But, hey, looks like, actually looks like somebody may have gotten the Agu guy as well. But, yep, that's going to be timeout mission over. And let's see how we did here with the Helena's Zaku at 3.50. And it doesn't look like I got anywhere on the board this match, but I did beat my rival. Which looks like third place with five kills and two loss. Somehow my rival was the, um, Ifrit Knocked. <laughs> Which, um, yeah, just comes to show, never question the rival system in GBO2. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the match here. And again, really just something I wanted to do here since I've had this video for some time. So I'm not really sure if I'm going to do a follow-up covering the buffed version of the suit. Uh, I might if I'm able to get some 350 matches in, although I do already have some planned suits to cover from the May 2024 unit adjustments, so... Uh, it's really just going to be a case of we'll see what happens. But, yep, that's going to be the end of this video here. Comment down below what you think about um, Helena's Zaku here. And remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Later.